Hi, I'm Dave Isaacs for TrueFire.com, here with another lesson on the art of the riff. I want to talk today about incorporating intervals of fourths and fifths in combination with pentatonic scales and scale fragments, and also along with that pentatonic scale we can add in the blue notes for the blues scale. Let's start with our simple E5 right here. Or of course the upper fourth. They sound good all together as a three note E5 chord, but they sound good separated too. Here's our E pentatonic with the passing blue note. And see how nicely that integrates. Same kind of thing works with the A. Right, here's your A5. Here's your scale. And we have access to the lower notes too. So we can... and we can have a nice combination of the E and the A. B, scale. All kinds of cool stuff you can get out of that. If we go to our D5 power chord, The scale is here. With the passing blue note. These notes are there too. And we have access to the lower notes. So check this out. In combination with this G5, you can do all kinds of cool things. Notice at the end of that riff, I'm just going D5, G5, and then at the end of that riff, leading from the G5, it's a D minor 7th arpeggio, but it's really just working your way down the minor pentatonic scale, and even though we're still over the G5, it's a great setup for the D5. Our G5 can be the big one with the full scale. Or the simple two note version, which works so nicely here. And because the minor third of the scale is right here and lends itself so well to bends, This can lead a little country. Incidentally, in my right hand, I'm using the country technique of plucking with middle and ring as I hold the pick with thumb and index, so. Now I'll start combining them. Let's say the D and the G. A 
and E. Five, A five, D A E. And notice I did move up the neck too. The A riff at one point I played here, which is just. And of course, in subsequent lessons, we'll explore how all of this stuff works in upper parts of the neck. But you can see how, if we break this down to the fundamentals, four power chords. Four scales. And of course the upper scales give us the lower notes too, so the D lets us go down. And so does the G. All this sounds very familiar. I'm sure you're hearing echoes of riffs you already know in all of this. But like I said, very, very simple. Four basic building blocks that can be put together in hundreds of ways, if not thousands, to create all kinds of interesting patterns. We're in search of the next killer riff, so go to work, have fun. This is Dave Isaacs, and I'll see you next time.